guys, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about parakeet health and its breeding. Lots of people, you know, they know about parakeets in general, but they don't really know too much about it. And if you have parakeets, it's good that you know a lot about them. And specifically in this video, I'm going to be talking about breeding and its health. So without further ado, let's get started. So first, I'm going to start out with parakeet health. And the first topic in that section will be how to tell if your bird is sick. So most parakeets, if they're sick, you know, sometimes they'll be puffed up for a very, very long time. Or maybe they'll just huddle into the corner of the cage. If the bird is with other birds, it may not be active with them and it's just going to look real tired and stuff. It's not going to move around that much. And sometimes it's just going to stay at the bottom of the cage and it won't move. And it'll be weak because it's sick. So most parakeets, they don't show their illnesses until they're extremely sick. Because remember, most parakeets in the wild, they have to be very alert or else it's gonna be eaten by some other predator. And when a parakeet shows its illnesses in the wild, it's taken by a predator immediately. So even though a parakeet may be your pet, just keep in mind that you're looking for it to be alert. If it's not alert, you've got to know that there's something wrong with it. But just keep in mind, just because a parakeet is puffed up doesn't necessarily mean that it is sick. You know, sometimes during the winter or maybe even during the summer when you have the air conditioning up way too high, the parakeet may just puff its feathers up just because it's cold, you know. But you really have to use your eyes and use your own judgment because parakeets you won't know until they're extremely sick. So just keep your eyes open. Another thing that you may not think about with parakeets is that they may become stressed out in their lives. I know it's just humans don't think about it because humans are often stressed out sometimes in their lives. But parakeets and other animals do become stressed out. A couple of ways you can find out that they're stressed or you can see is that maybe sometimes they're aggressive. They bite, they lunge, they hiss. That's how you can kind of tell they're stressed out. Another way is they're fearful. You know, if a bird often likes to be around you and other family members and all of a sudden doesn't want to be with you, then that's one way you can figure out that something is wrong. Another way is if the bird loses its appetite. It just doesn't feel like eating. And that's another problem too, because then it can just lose weight, and that would not be good for the bird. So you'd have to help the bird in a way. So the last thing I'll talk to you guys about in the health topic is about what can cause a parakeet's health problem, or what can cause health problems for a parakeet. So the first one can be its diet. If it's not eating right foods or the right amount, that can be a problem for the parakeet. The second one is boredom. You know. If the parakeet's really not that active and stuff, it's, it's going to be bored, it's going to be tired, it'll be lazy, and you really do not want that to happen. Because they're normally very active animals, and you want to keep them that way. And by just, like, say you put nothing in the cage, just absolutely nothing, or no company, it's just going to be sitting there, wasting time. Another thing can be accidents. You know, sometimes owners, you know, they decide to let their parakeet out of the cage because the cage, you know, they need some exercise. And when the parakeet flies, you know, sometimes it hits objects. And some, and the parakeet hits it, sometimes it falls and stuff. Like, it's not good for the parakeet because the parakeet can possibly injure themselves. And the, and the next one can be, number four, poorly designed cages, perches, and toys. You really do not want a cage that's going to fall apart or collapse on your parakeet. Maybe toys that are just poor or perches that are just pretty old, like say you just went outside and got a branch and just pretty old, you know, you, it's, you don't really want that. It's not good for your parakeet. And the last one I have for you today, number five, is aggression from other pets or parrots or birds other birds because sometimes the other other animal may be aggressive to your parakeet and say you had a cat and it bit the parakeet's foot you know it's it's gonna cause it to have an injury or something 
Or maybe the cat scratched the parakeet. Ouch. But, you know, that can actually happen. So just to be a lookout for those things. Those can cause parakeets to have health problems. So now I'm going to move on to parakeet health. So if you want your parakeet to mate, it's good that you put a nesting box in there, you know, for the parakeets. And sometimes if you put the nesting box in there, the parakeets really don't know what it is. So then they start to freak out and stuff. They feel like it's going to attack them or whatever. So just leave the nesting box in there. You know, the parakeets may be scared for a while. Eventually they'll get used to it. You know, they'll start to get the feel of, you know, they, they get to check it out. You know, they'll later on learn that there's no harm involved with the nesting box. It's not going to hurt them. And then maybe later on they'll just like it. So if you find an egg at the bottom of the cage, what exactly should you do? Well, if you find one at the bottom of the cage and you notice that the female is not sitting on it, then you probably can just remove it. Because there's probably no baby bird in there. And if the female is laying eggs with no male, then it's probably not going to hatch because it was never fertilized. So thanks for watching my video today on parakeet health and parakeet breeding. I hope that this video has been helpful to you guys, and I'll see you next time on the Gushy Episodes.